Welcome back everyone to the topic of the week. And the topic of the week this week is having that feeling of emptiness, a feeling of feeling incomplete. How does this affect us? Because there are so many of us that are not even aware that we've got a feeling of, of being incomplete, of having this pit in our stomach or within our souls, if that's how we want to express it, that there's something missing. Well, most of the time, and this affects us in several different ways, it could either affect you with becoming addicted to something, especially sugar. There are a lot of people that uh, have become addicted to sugar because it's in literally everything. And it's so easy because you're not using a drug, you're not using alcohol. So it's, uh, you've got a very good excuse, right? Oh, I'll we'll just have a slice of cake and that will make me feel better. But it never does because there's never enough because you feel empty. And if you're always feeling empty, no matter how much, no matter what you put in it, you will always feel that way. And there is a very good reason why we have this emptiness. So most of my clients that I've given sessions on on addiction and other issues not just addiction but this this you know reflects in, in in lots of different ways they've come back to a lack of love so if you felt that one of your parents or a parent or someone close to you didn't give you the love that you truly deserve didn't give you didn't meet your needs as a child which our basic needs are to feel safe to feel supported and to, to feel loved, right? And if we don't have that, then there's going to be an emptiness within us and we're going to try and fill that up in whichever way we possibly can. With some people, it's with sex. With some people, it's with relationships, you know? There are a lot of people that we would call them players. You know, they, they, they get around and they find different partners over and over again because they constantly need that validation, that approval, that filling up of love because that's what you get. And one person may not be enough, so I need to find more. And actually, in hindsight, it, it harms us. It hurts us. But this can also cause different issues. It can cause us to feel anxious, it can cause us to feel fearful, it can cause us to feel so many different things because we don't feel a completeness within us. And if we don't feel complete, then we tend to not feel safe and supported either. So what I would do in an RTT session, which I absolutely love, <laughs> and also I just thought I'd mention, this is something that I was definitely affected by. I, I always had this feeling of there's just something missing. There's something missing. And it didn't feel like an emptiness. I wasn't actually aware of it at all until I actually started my study of becoming a therapist. So you can imagine, you know, I've been holding on to this, this emptiness for a very long time. And the thing is, we're not really empty. We are born complete and we remain that way. But subconsciously, we believe that there is something missing, that there, there is a void within us that needs to be filled because of the imprints that have happened throughout our childhood. And I just thought I'd mention this as well, is that uh, someone asked me this recently, do you always go back to childhood? I, most of the time with most clients, I do bring that person back to their childhood to find the cause of whatever issue may be affecting them. But I have had clients that have had a trauma that has happened in their adult life and that has caused them to have a, a different issue, like sensitivity to sound or a fear of birds and so on. And they did go back, regress back to their adult life. So this can happen and I'm not excluding that. I'm not always saying this happened in childhood and it must be in childhood. If you had an accident as, a, as an adult a few years back and now you have a fear of driving, then of course those two are related and will probably end up going back to a scene from your adult life. We may also go back from scenes from your childhood, which also happens. So what I would do in an RTT session is find out what the cause for this emptiness is. And some clients, uh, some people are a lot more visual, though. so the creative type, the artists, 
are incredibly receptive and they're very visual. So it's very easy for me to give an RTT session. But if you are not a visual person, there are loads of other techniques that we can use. So it's, there's not just one thing that we do. We'll do aggression and that's just the only solution. No, we've got so many different tools in our toolbox. And that's why I love this therapy so much because we can get that information. We want to give you the understanding of why this was created for you to understand like, oh, but that was when I was five. My, I don't need to hold on to this limiting belief anymore. That's not mine to keep it. And it was never mine to take on. And then we will basically give that emptiness, that, that missing piece, that incompleteness, whatever you want to call it, we're going to give it a voice and you are going to be the voice. And this sounds a bit strange, but when you're in hypnosis and you're hypnotized and you're relaxed, you will, it will make so much sense to you. And you will actually speak for that part and say, I, my only role in so-and-so's life is to remind them that they're not loved or what, whatever it may be, but we're going to come up with the information and it's going to give you so much understanding and so much freedom because I want you to experience freedom. We only have well, we think we only have this one lifetime. So don't we want to make it the best life ever, right? And also, I think it's so important to live in this very moment. And when we have all of these issues and these limiting beliefs, we're not living in the here and now. We are living in the past. And that is not the purpose of, of being a human being. We want to make the most out of this moment and be grateful for everything that we have because if we are grateful for several things then we're going to find more things to be grateful for and again i want to remind you to make your your gratitude list in the morning and if you don't want to then you can always go on youtube and go on i am affirmations and just listen to them whilst you're brushing your teeth anything to set you up for the day. Why would you not want to, you know, start your day in the most positive way possible, right? There are so many different things that you can do to completely reprogram your mind. So RTT is my go-to and hypnotic audios is my go-to, but if this isn't your cup of tea and if you like to try different things, there are a lot of interesting videos on YouTube. There are a lot of meditations and I think Become aware, this can be your homework, because I like to set homework. Oh, it makes me feel like a teacher. <laughs> so what I would love you to do, what I invite you to do, is become aware of your feelings, of if you do feel that you may have an addiction or you may have this need to get validation or approval from other people, even from our children sometimes, actually, because our children trigger us a lot and this is a good thing because it's making you when you feel triggered you need to be grateful for it and i know that sounds weird because when we're triggered we are not happy little bunnies we are annoyed and we are hurt we are upset so it's very hard to then say oh i'm so grateful for my suffering i know that's a hard thing for me to ask but do try and think okay why am i feeling this way why is um my my daughter annoying me when um when she's telling me that i'm wrong about something oh maybe that's the ego maybe that's my pride being hurt maybe that reminds me of when my dad used to tell me i was wrong even though i knew i was right you know there are reasons why we get triggered by certain people and this is a good thing because we need to heal it we need to let these things go and not live with it and there are solutions out there and i hope to be your solution and if you feel like there is an emptiness there is even a feeling of loneliness because they're very much interconnected an incompleteness then please go to my website leliahypnosis.com and book a free call and let's talk about it and if you feel comfortable then you can always book a session afterwards but you don't have to and that's the beauty of it right you have your freedom and you can say no i don't really want to I just felt I needed to unburden myself and talk about it. I'm always here for you. You can contact me on any platform and I'd love to work with you and I welcome you with open arms. So have a magical, wonderful, love-filled, complete day. All my love.